Sump pumps are devices that move water from a point below the basement to a point outside and away from the house. So we're now down at our sump pit and we look inside and you can see that there's water already in here. But where does this water come from and why is it sitting in the pit? Well, water comes from outside. Uh, anytime it rains, you water the plants, the snow melts, uh, water seeps into the ground all around the house. Now the house has what's called weeping tiles around it, which are pipes that collect the rainwater and they'll circle it and direct it somewhere. Well, they direct it actually into the pit here. And you can see an entry point right there for your weeping tile. And I have another one at the front here. So as this rainwater collects all around the whole house, it actually works its way back into this pit here. The pump rests at the bottom of a sump pit. This pit is set so that its top is level with the basement floor. Water from the ground around the house gets into the pit via the weeping tile. As the water in the pit rises to a set level, a float switch activates the pump. With the pump running, the water in the pit is pushed through the discharge pipe to a point away from the house. So we have our sump pump in here, which are, is our flood defender. And what it does is as the water level rises, it will kick on and pump this water away through our discharge pipe to somewhere far away from the house. We can see in this clip that the water will bubble out from under the log. This tells us that the pump inside the house is discharging into this pond. There are a couple of potential safety concerns with sump pumps and their pits. One is the electrical shock hazard and the other is a physical risk of falling into the pit by either you, your children or pets. A good cover will eliminate the risks from both of these. Properly covered sump pits will help protect you but they will also protect the pump from small objects that could interfere with the operation of the whole system.